mornings are kind of routine, peaceful, <laughs> go through your routine, waking up, you know, coffee, get your mind right for the day. Every morning she knows exactly what she's gonna do for the day. Uh, me, I'm just by the seat of my pants. Whatever their plans are for any given day, Natalie Irish and her husband Dennis know for certain that what happens in this Abilene home is happening most likely nowhere else in the world. We paint our faces to look pretty. How important is that to, to change some of the things women do to alter our appearance? Some of it's painful, some of it's great, some of it like makes you feel good. I like to use things in ways that they aren't intended. I am testing and mixing colors, see how they look on other colors. I make out with canvas for a living. I use lipstick as paint and I use my mouth as a brush. That's part of the challenge is to only have my lips touch the canvas, nothing else. There was a lot of people that didn't believe it, didn't understand it. There was people that watch her do it and walk away and not understanding what they just saw. One night, about 2001, I put on a red lipstick, blotted it, and I was like, ah, oh, I think I can paint with that. I knew how to do a painting, shading, balance, proportions. I knew how to do all that with pencils and brushes, so how do I do that with, with this brush? And was it trial and error? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How do you do it with this brush? <laughs> I have really good aim. <laughs> Practice. I mean, if you hold your hand up, like, you, you can't see where you're making contact. You kind of go a little cross-eyed. Mm -hmm. I have special bifocals that my optometrist made me to help with the eye fatigue. You're telling us that every bit of this was done with your lips. You painted this with your lips. Yes. Part of the challenge. I mix up a really sheer lipstick and just kind of sketch with that. I don't want to use paint. It has to be lipstick and that's the only thing that li leaves like the texture. I mean it's almost like little fingerprints. Natalie's body of work contains stunning images. When you realize these paintings were created without brush, pastel, or pen, just puckered lips, a palette of pure cosmetics, and a canvas. They had a hard time at first explaining this obscure creative technique to discriminating galleries and art collectors, but it all took off after a video Dennis arranged went viral. When we would do art shows, you'd show people and they didn't understand. So a friend of hers did film, so he came out and that's how it started. The video went viral. And then we did Scottsdale, Budapest, Hungary, Sao Paulo, Brazil, Santiago, Chile. We did Stockholm, Sweden, Hong Kong, New York City. She was on Conan O'Brien. And then various little things over the United States, Miami, Atlanta, Kansas City, all kinds of stuff. And there's more, I know I'm missing some. Dennis helped show me that I could do this for a living. He did all the work that, as an artist, I didn't. I, did, I know how to. I know how to make stuff. She's passionate about everything. I, I mean, she's like a cartoon. It's like living with a cartoon. My role has been managing most aspects of her career until we started hiring agents or things like that. Once things started getting a little bigger, we didn't know what to do, or who who do you hire, who do you call. We didn't. We didn't know. We were making it up as we went along. What do people say about your art? Oh my gosh, everything. Everything from they love it, they've never seen anything like it, they think it's so cool, to oh my gosh, that's a waste of perfectly good lipstick. <laughs> and the jokes, like you have to have a good sense of humor. I mean, I paint with my mouth, okay? I paint with my mouth, so I mean, whatever, at least be creative with it. When I'm painting, I'm just painting, but there is the symbolism of the intimacy of a kiss. And I mean, it takes two to three weeks to do a piece, and that's rushing, because I have to take a lot of breaks. Can't get in the zone and paint for hours. My lips will fall off. It's so unflattering. I have to distort my face so much and just kind of like, people are like, how do you get the eyelashes? It's, well, it's kind of like this. <laughs> and it's, it's, <laughs> it's a very serious, but now, painting you technique. can Google lip painting, I'll bet. 
Yeah. I'll bet you, you come up. Yes, I do. Um, I didn't have a model. I took pictures on my own mouth. It's actually been really cool that since I've started doing it, I have, I have people from all over the world that are like, send me pictures, like a lot of young girls. They tried the technique or they did a report on me in school. Um, like two years ago, I remember getting uh, these messages on Instagram from an elementary school in, or in France where these kids were doing lip painting stuff for Valentine's Day. Oh, like, right? I know. It, it, it's, it's, it's insane. Yeah. Because I decided to smush my mouth on a piece of paper and try and make shapes with it. You can go to galleries all over the world and visit paintings by some of the greats, and their interaction with the canvas is, uh, is limited but um, I can guarantee you that there's DNA <laughs> in the paintings that my wife does. She gets intimate with her canvases. That's part of the fun, is trying to see how far I can push it. Poets and songwriters have told us for years there's something captivating about that first kiss. In Abilene, a first kiss triggered an art form that's taken Natalie Irish around the world. Creative works beginning and ending with nothing more than a tender kiss. I love that story. Me too, and we've got plenty more where that came from. Just click on the subscribe button and keep traveling with us.